Hors d'oeuvre, Kelly. Oh, I remember these. <laughs> oh, I just love them. <laughs> I know, and that's why I had Cook make them, especially for you. Thank you. Blair? Oh, uh, no, thank you. You know, Kelly, the food in England must have gotten a lot better than I remember it. But you know what? That extra weight looks looks good on you. Claire! That dye job was scare skunk. Uh, uh, excuse me, but this is supposed to be a celebration of Kramer woman unity. Now, come on, you two. Knock it off. I want you to hug it out. What? You heard me. Hug time. Come on! Come on! Conflict oh. resolution. Let's go. You're not fooling me a bit. Okay. Well, I guess I can't fool a fool. You feel better, don't you? Oh, you have no idea. Good. <gasps> Kelly! Oh. oh, my God, you grew <laughs> up. You're so gorgeous. <gasps> you look great, too. Oh, thank, thank you. Aren't you? <laughs> oh, my gosh, what happened? Oh, it's a long, boring story. I just twisted it. Star, honey. Where's Langston? Oh, I have some bad news about Langston. She's going to be late. She had something important to do. You aren't at all surprised to find me alone, but you knew that I'd be alone because Star told you I was babysitting You're home. the one who left a scarf in my office. I just thought I'd return it to you. <laughs> that is beyond pathetic. And if you'd gotten the flu? The scarf is just an excuse for you to charm your way into my apartment. So you think I'm charming? I think you tried to seduce me. And if your boyfriend hadn't walked in, I would have. I heard you were shot, and they had to rush you into surgery? Well, that's what they tell me. I don't remember what happened, but I do remember you. We're more alike than you think. I'm nothing like you. Well, you do have more hair, that's true. How do you think I would look as a blonde? Freaking pathetic. You stay away from Rex and Natalie. You stay away from them. Rex is my son. Rex is not your son! Well, honey, wishing won't make it so. Rex doesn't have to be scared of you anymore. You are done, and you are going to rot in this cell. <sighs> are you sure about that? What do you mean? What the hell do you mean by that? I'm glad you remember me, Jess. You know you mean a lot to me. You mean a lot to me, too. Don't just stand there. Come over here. Oh, we can do better than that. Oh, what was that for? You insulted me. How? There was no way I was gonna do anything with you. I love my boyfriend. Yeah, but you want me. You want me to hit you again? See? You can't keep your hands off me. I don't want to touch you. I don't even want to look at you. <laughs> That's not true. Don't tell me how I feel. You really want to fight about this? I want you to stop all this. Uh, no, you don't. Every time I've kissed you, you've kissed me back. Well, yeah, but that Last night? I even asked you if you wanted me to go. You said no. I may have said that, but I didn't really want you. <laughs> and if I thought for one second that you wanted me gone, I would have left. See, like it or not, Langston, you want me just as bad as I wanted you. Now, what could I possibly be up to? I mean, you keep saying that... I'm going to be in this glass cage the rest of my life. No privacy, nowhere to hide. My life, an open book. Say, there's an idea. What do you mean? I'll write a book. Yes. A memoir. Hmm. I think... <clears throat> a lot of people would be very interested know about my past. Don't you think so? Roxanne. Nobody out of here! Let me 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 out of here! Get me out of here!
Langston's going to be late. Yeah, I just know how important this get-together is to you. Well, evidently, Langston doesn't share my feelings. No, it... Believe me, she feels the same way. She's going to be here. She's just running a little late. She's yeah, but obviously she had more important things to do. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I guess the good news is that at least she isn't hurt. Mom... Please, I know how upset you've been, but Mitch is in a maximum security prison, okay? I know. As Blair reminded me, he has minions who are really eager to do his bidding. Dorian, don't listen to Blair. She's a downer. I beg your pardon. Blair, you couldn't see a silver lining if it were on sale. Oh, well, excuse me, Kelly. While you were out shopping, two people died and another one's in... The hospital. Okay, enough, girls. Why, Andrew? This, this is a lovely surprise. Is Cassie with you? I'm afraid I have some bad news. I just did the floor count. They're all present and accounted for. See you tomorrow? God willing. <laughs> I need to see Mitch Lawrence. Name? Roxanne Balsam. But it says here that you just saw him. Yeah, I know, but I forgot to tell him something. It's important. 